I have been scrolling on YouTube, and these past couple of months, I keep on seeing these artwork which have been generated by AI, and they look pretty good. This got me wondering, can we use AI to help with our game development? And the answer to that question is yes. In today's video, I'm going to go over how you can use AI to generate textures for your game. Okay, before we start this video, I want you to guess which rock is generated with an AI texture. The rock on the left of the mannequin or the rock on the right of the mannequin. Okay, I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. So the rock on the right was generated with an AI texture. I think it's a bit obvious, but I don't think it looks too bad. Now, let's get on with the video. So on the internet, there are loads of different AI image generators, but we're going to be using one called Dream Studio. And the way it works is we have this canvas and we basically type in here what we want the AI to generate. It has this whole prompt guide which teaches you how to use it. I'm not going to go over it, but basically we just type in what we want the AI to generate. And there are a couple of settings we can change here. So we can change the scale of the image, how many images it draws and all these other settings. So for example, I could type in blue panda and let's see what it generates. Okay, and it looks like it generated a blue panda. It looks kind of weird, and I don't know what this is here, but if we give it another prompt, such as realistic, hopefully it'll give us a blue panda, which looks realistic. So when I gave it the realistic tag, it kind of gave us a blue panda, which looked a bit more realistic. I didn't even spell that correctly, but I still managed to get it. So I downloaded this rock model from Quixel Bridge, and it has this high quality sandstone texture on it. I'm just gonna show you it. So this is the texture that this rock model is currently using. And we're gonna see if we can use AI to generate a texture which looks even better, or maybe it will look even worse, but let's use AI to see if we can generate a texture for this rock, which looks okay. So first up, I'm in the Dream Studio Lite, and to get started, I'm just gonna type in sandstone texture. Okay, so that kind of looks like sandstone. I'm gonna download this so we can see how the prompts do. Okay, so the first one wasn't too bad, although let's try again. This time I'm going to type in sandstone texture, although this time I'm going to add a realistic tag at the end of it, and we'll see how the AI performs. Okay, so it looks like it gave me six different textures, so I kind of wanted it in one. Not sure why I did that, but I guess I can just try again. Okay, so this was in one image. I'm going to download this as well. We can also add an Unreal Engine prompt. I think it said this will change the way the lighting affects it. So at the end of this, I'm gonna type in Unreal Engine. Okay, so it seems adding that Unreal Engine added this like little viewport tab. I kind of don't want that, so I'm just gonna try again. Okay, this time it looks like it gave me a picture which looks like it's from a game environment and it doesn't look too bad, but wasn't really what I'm looking for. So maybe I'll remove the Unreal Engine tag and I'm just going to add the color that I want it to be. So I'm going to make it brown. And let's see how it does. Okay, maybe that brown was a bit too overpowering. So I'm just going to add this to the front. So it looks like this takes a bit of experimentation. Okay, so that's not too bad. I'm going to download this. And I'm going to try and generate one more texture for it. Okay, so I changed the order that I put the tags and it gave me this. It looks like sometimes it has these weird little blue dots, but we'll see. So I'm now gonna download all the AI generated textures into this folder that I've just made. And I'm just gonna create material for all of them. So I think I have five different textures. So I'm gonna make this rock duplicated five times. Okay, so we have the results and the AI has not done too well. So this sandstone texture, it looks a bit okay, but I think it was a bit too detailed in some places. So this was this first one. So it looks kind of decent here, but on the rock model, I guess it's kind of a bit bad. But this second texture, it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. This third one was kind of similar to the second one. And then I think the best one has actually been this one. I think it kind of looks the most like a sandstone out of all of the AI generated textures. I think maybe this would look a bit better in a game where the graphics weren't so realistic, but I think this one is definitely the best. So there's one more thing we can do to make our textures look just a bit more realistic. So normally in games, 
materials will have normal maps, which will kind of help them look a bit more realistic. There is this software called Normal Map Online, and it generates normal maps for images. So if we just select the AI texture that you want to generate a normal map for, mine was this one. I'm just gonna select normal and click download. And this will generate a normal map for this texture. So I have downloaded the normal map for this texture. I'm gonna go over to this material folder and simply just drag in the normal map and hook it up to normal here and click apply. So you can already see that makes this material look a bit better. And if I just close this and go play and go up to this rock, it looks a bit more realistic than before. Although I would say the Quixel bridge one looks kind of just a bit better. One more thing I want to mention, the textures I made, I made them have a width and height of 512 by 512, so the quality of the image may have not been that great. I could have increased this to be something like 1024 by 1024, although the credits would be a lot more and I didn't want to do that, but maybe it would have generated a higher quality image which would make the rock look better. So I removed the other rocks which I didn't think looked quite realistic and we're just left with the second and the last rock. And I don't think the results look too bad. Maybe if I had given a bit more detailed prompts, the results would have looked better. But I think it turned out pretty decently. I do think the second rock is clear that it is the Quixel bridge texture, especially when we go a bit closer. But from afar, it's kind of a bit difficult to tell. So that's all for this video. Hopefully you now know how to use AI to generate textures for your game. I do think the AI needs a bit more work, so it may not be ready. But this will be good for like prototyping and maybe in the future it could become even better. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.